This is the second presentation of the uh, KMMS Summit of Assessment Overview and here we will focus on the individuated exams uh, for KMMS across the program. This does not mean that there are not other Summit of Assessments in certain modules like essays, um, e-portfolio, which is really important um, and students need to take very clear attention to those as well. But we will now just focus on the individuated exams across the program. Um, as I mentioned in the previous um, presentation, a triangle is formative and a circle is summative indications. For the AKT, we've got formative exams, we've got end of module exams and end of year reset exams, as you indicated by those symbols. And then we also have sequential testing exams for AKT in years three and four, which I'll explain in a moment. For OSCEs, we've got a formative OSCE processes in some years and also a sequential testing OSCE in all academic years. So as you can see in the first system-based module of year one, Foundations for Health and Disease, uh, just after about halfway in the module, there will be a formative 30 item um, mock paper or formative um, uh, AKT, which we call the module tutorial tests. And the students will then at the end of the module have an opportunity to do the end of module exam, which is 120 questions. Um, and if they pass that, then they have completed the modules assessment from an AKT perspective. We follow the same process for heart, lungs and blood, as well as metabol nutrition, metabolism and excretion. If any student is unsuccessful at passing the end of module exams in any of these three modules, there is an exam reset opportunity in the end of year period for all three modules. Um, but hopefully students won't need any particular student won't need all three. But there is a reset paper opportunity there. The reset papers are exactly the same setup as the end of module exam paper. We also have an end of year AKT for the community and primary care in practice module. It's a small AKT of only 20 items which contribute to the marks of this module. It's not a pass fail AKT on its own. We also have the skills for clinical practice, the module, the skills module, where they have a formative OSCE in April um, and then their summative sequential testing OSCE is in the end of year period. These are the invigilated exams for year one. When we get to year two, it's a very, very similar structure. As you can see for the three system-based modules here, all have them have an NTT, a formative AKT, 30 items with an end of module exam, um, which the students can then write. And if they do uh, pass that, they have then completed the assessments for those modules. And at the end of the year, they have a recent opportunity for any modules that were unsuccessful during the year of those three system-based modules. There's also the end of, uh, end of module AKT for the Community and Primary Care in Practice 2 module, which is a 30 item um, AKT looking back at years one and two um, for that particular module, learned in the immersion weeks placement for the GP uh, module. Then we also have again our formative OSCE in year two, also in April, and then the end of year summative uh, sequential testing OSCE for year two. So as you can see that the structure for year one and two from an invigilated exam perspective is very, very similar. In year three, the students will have in term three, a formative AKT of approximately 50 items for all the professional knowledge done up to that point during the year. And they have a sequential testing AKT um, at the end of the academic year and they have a formative webinar for explaining to them the sort of approach to the OSCE for the year three, because the students have done so many OSCEs by then, they're quite familiar uh, with the OSCE process. And then they have their summative sequential testing OSCE in the end of year period as well. So that's a very short process about the invigilated exams for year three um, indicated here. In year four, it's exactly the same structure. They have a formative AKT in term three. They have an OSCE webinar to explain the OSCE process in year four. And then they have this sequential testing AKT and OSCE process at the end of year period. 
In year five, the students have again got a OSCE webinar, but this time the OSCE will be the MLA OSCE, which is a sequential testing AKT, very similar to all the other AKT, uh, OSCEs that our students undergo in KMMS in years one to four. Um, so it's a sequential testing one for the MLA as well. And they have the national set MLA AKT also as done as part of finals. Then the other two assessments part of our finals exams is the uh, WPA, the written papers assessment in year five, um, as well as then the PSA exam, which I've already spoken about in the previous presentation. So that's part of the finals module. If a student is unsuccessful at either the AKT or the WPA or the PSA, there is a recent opportunity at the end of the elective period for those because they were single sit exams during finals. The AKT, um, sorry, the OSCE um, is a sequential testing and therefore no recent uh, opportunity there. Thank you very much.